Hey there designers, how about getting your work out there for the world to see? They say a picture is worth a thousand words. That's exactly why creating a solid online portfolio is a game changer. Welcome to Hostinger Academy, and today I'll show you how to make a great graphic design portfolio. A portfolio website makes your work accessible anywhere and anytime. Plus, it gives your future clients an easy way to find and contact you. With a carefully selected project gallery and testimonials, you'll be able to build a brand name for yourself and establish credibility. And to top it all off, a website is a fantastic marketing tool that you can integrate with your social media. Once we have your portfolio up and running, I'll share some tips to promote it at the end of this video as well. If that sounds like a plan, hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications to see more tips on how to maintain a portfolio website. All right, let's get started, shall we? There are a couple of ways to create a website, but a website builder is by far the easiest. We'll be using Hostinger Website Builder, which comes with a beginner-friendly site editor, e-commerce functionality, and even AI tools that can do the bulk of the work for you. So first, you'll need to purchase a website builder plan, which includes two other necessities, hosting and a free domain name. Just click the link to this landing page in the description below, and you'll see two different plans. If you plan to sell merchandise or services on the site, I suggest going with the Business Website Builder plan for the e-commerce functionality. Since it also includes AI tools, we'll be taking the business plan so we can use them for our site. Now, for the best deal, pick the 48 months bundle to get three months for free. Then sign up with your email address or simply connect your Google account and choose how you want to pay for the subscription. And as an appreciation for our viewers, there is a WB10 coupon code you can apply for an extra 10% off. Complete a payment and we're off to the next step. The next thing we need to do is to choose how we want to build our website. For now, we're going with the AI website creation flow. Simply enter your preferred portfolio name, choose portfolio, and explain the overall website concept here. Then personalize your website style and color palette in these settings. Hit create a website and wait for a few moments. Then we can check the overall look of the website before entering the site editor. Let's see what we got on the left side menu. First, there's a to-do list that will help you decide what to set up next. It will automatically take the action once it's done. The plus icon lets you add new website elements, and you can organize your portfolio display on the pages and navigation menu. We're going to dive deeper into it a bit later though. Website styles let you pick a color palette and fonts to apply all over your site. And then you have all the AI tools like the AI writer, page generator, and logo maker available in this menu. Finally, this settings button lets you set up technical configurations like language, SEO, and tools integration. Moving on to the page area, you can simply drag and drop any item to place it where you want. To alter any of the items, just select one and choose what you want to do with it from the menu. Let's tweak the headline, for example. Simply double-clicking on it will let you change the text. Meanwhile, if you want to tweak another item, let's say the call to action button, you need to pick the element and choose the edit button. If you need any more help, make use of the AI Assistant feature here. Simply type what you want in the chat room and it will give you a guide. Now, let's move on to organizing your portfolio layout. Think about your portfolio as a gallery. The artwork is essential, but so is the way it's presented. So, organize your projects into categories. It's better to have them on separate pages or drop-down menus for better navigation as well. Here's how to do that. Go to Pages and Navigation, and then click Add Page. Now just choose a page template you like or build one from scratch and give it a name once it's done. The pages on this list will be shown in the header. If you drag a page to the right like this, it will become a submenu. If you want to lock your design for a specific client only, click the gear icon, select Password, and switch the toggle button. Set your password, then choose a display page template you prefer. Save the change once done. This way, you are giving restricted access to your project. Once our display layout is sorted, we can move on and feature your work on the site. To make your project display interesting, I recommend combining your design skills with storytelling. Adding a little context to your work with a personal touch helps engage your potential clients even more. Just make sure to keep the copy simple and concise. 
Highlight the main points in each description, including the client, the project goals, and the methods and tools you used. If you feel stuck and don't know what to write, simply open the AI Writer tool to help you brainstorm. You can describe what your project is about and the language style you're aiming for, like casual or formal. Then just hit Generate Text and it's ready for you to edit and use. You can set the preferred action for images too. For example, if you want an image to open a link after being clicked, head to the Action tab on the Image Settings. Then just choose Open Link from the drop-down menu and include the URL of the page. If you want to change up your background color, you can head to Section Settings and play around with it. For a color changing effect, all you have to do is activate the Animate Gradient option. There's a good chance your clients will visit your site on mobile devices, so make sure to test it out by clicking this mobile preview icon. By default, your site is adjusted to mobile screen sizes like this. But if you want to arrange the pages differently on the mobile version, you can also edit the site elements in this layout. And do note that any changes you make on the mobile version won't affect the desktop one. Once everything's ready, it's time to go live. First, you'll want to connect a custom domain name, which will be your website's address. Hover over this preview domain and click Connect Your Own Domain. Then you'll be redirected to HPanel to claim your free domain name. At this point, you're ready to publish your portfolio. But I recommend optimizing your site first, as it will improve your online presence on search engines. Simply go to Settings and select SEO Settings. There, you will find a complete guide to introduce your site to search engines. Simply follow the instructions and make sure everything's green. Don't forget your keywords either. If you're focusing on a certain design style, like minimalism, make sure that keyword appears throughout your site. Once you're done, click Go Live to publish your site. And that's it. Your portfolio is now accessible to everyone. And that's all it takes to create a portfolio website. Now just remember to keep your site maintained and wait for the clients to roll in. If you learned something valuable from this video, give it a like, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell icon to get notified of new videos every week. Thanks for watching, and good luck on your online journey.